I like taking pictures of my food before I eat it. Potatoes. We're buying so many things that are just new. A clove of garlic. Mashed potato. well they're not mashed yet. Potatoes, a lime, lettuce. Well it's a dress, it's a pre-salad. Would you call it a pre-salad? Pre-salad. Rotisserie's chicken, snagged. Parmesan cheese, snagged. Bacon, snagged. White rice, snagged. Flour tortillas, clove of garlic, lime. We are on a mission. This is gonna be a process, like a full on big process. And we're gonna walk you through it. All right, shopping haul, grocery store haul time. We got 12 Coronas, a rotisserie chicken, Texas toast, uh, what is this? What is this, what is this? Teriyaki sauce, a lime, clove of garlic, five potatoes, red potatoes, uh, a kit for salad, soft tortillas, flour tortillas, pancake mix, because we're making pancakes tomorrow, white rice, angel hair spaghetti noodles, pre-shredded Parmesan cheese. We're gonna go through the whole thing, like this is some crazy dinner stuff. Pay attention, like legit, this is the kind of stuff that in college, it comes in handy, it's like a really good food. It's not that expensive, we just spent like $45 on this whole haul. So, I mean, we're getting started right now, so cheers. All right, so what is this for? What are we boiling water for, the noodles? Yep. Perfect. Angel hair noodles, uh, right now it is my cutting board for this lime. Perfect. I gotta set the camera down. Welcome to Cooking with Kev G. Today we're making spaghetti carbonara. <laughs> Now we're cutting the clove of garlic. We're just getting one little, actually, is it called a clove? Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do to the clove. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did it wrong. So once you crack your garlic clove, you're gonna wait because we're sizzling this bacon and, and then you put the garlic clove in. We'll show you that right now. Shout out Edney, he just texted me and said he was willing to skip a party to go play Call of Duty. So, get your grind on. One egg. So the egg is in this bowl now, you can't really see because gravity, but then you add a little Parmesan cheese to this bowl. No, I gotta tilt it down. Undo this Parmesan cheese pre-grated. You can grate your own Parmesan if you'd like, but for the convenience of this episode, we decided not to do that. Sprinkle. The desired amount of Parmesan cheese. See, that looks pretty good. And then you take a fork and you whisk. You start whisking this together. It'll create this nice, cheesy, eggy ingredient. Yeah, it's looking decent. Once it's whisked up, it should look a little something like this. That's good, you want that consistency about. Again, this is super convenient. You can make a ton at a time, and then if you're on a college schedule and a diet like me, uh, it's very easy to just come back and eat this for like six meals a day for like six days straight. All right, so we've just put our noodles on. The bacon, as you just saw, is mm, this is sizzling perfectly. These are the last two. We're waiting. This is just kind of chilling for now. It's going to come into play later. Uh, we're getting the oven fired up right now. It's preheating. The Texas toast is going to go on here, so that's going to be our side. Now we're at 175 there. You need a cooking sheet? Perfect. Okay. Cookie, cookie, cookie sheet. All right guys, we're in crunch time. We gotta do this process really fast. So I'm gonna put this on top of the fridge. Hope it picks up in the frame. Ah! All right, now what you do is you gotta put all this spaghetti into the bacon pan. We took the bacon out, we uh, put it in there, and then you transfer over. You move all the spaghetti and a little water. Just you put some water in there. Water, water. You add water until you hear the frying stop. Then you add your egg, like so, a little bit. This egg and Parmesan combo. All right guys, so in tragic fashion, ran out of memory on the vlog camera, but I'm vlogging with the brand new iPhone 11. So what you missed, we added the egg and then we stirred it. So you really didn't miss much at all, but we also have garlic bread in the oven. You got so many. Today we're doing the question and answer response video. You guys asked your question two, three days ago. I think I'm uploading this Wednesday, so it would have been like maybe four or five days ago by this point. You guys asked, now we're just gonna get right into it. 
Let's start off. I got a couple of questions on Instagram, so I'm gonna go through those first. All right, I lied. I'm actually starting on YouTube first, so we're gonna kind of pick and choose one after another, but I'm going to get around to answering every single question I got. Jason asks, why an Audi and not any other brand of vehicle? And if you didn't drive that car, what brand of car would you drive? I love you. Well, thank you, Jason. I love you too. I think, first question, so why an Audi? Um, this was something I looked at last summer, no, two summers ago, I guess now. But um, I was looking for something balanced that I could drive in the winter, and the S5 had a lot of power and a lot of potential to build, as well as have all-wheel drive and kill it in the winter. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about it. I had a friend with an S4, which is same platform, um, just two more doors. So Plus, I really like the interior of the Audis, uh, especially the 2013, which is the year that I have. They did a facelift to the front, and then the interior was way different. The steering wheel is better. Um, all of that sort of stuff kind of played a factor into which car I ultimately bought. But if I didn't drive this car, I'm not sure. I had a BMW 3 Series before this, and I loved it, except it had over 100,000 miles, and it broke and cost me a lot of money. So I don't think I would go to another used car, or at least another used BMW. But I have thought about this question and I may lease, if I couldn't get another Audi to lease, I think I would look at leasing a BMW 3 Series newer though, because it would have factory warranties, uh, guaranteed you know, maintenance, all this. I would be the first owner, so I would know there's not any issues underlying. I'd probably go BMW 3 Series lease. Thank you, Jake, for your question. All right, so Nick Murphy said, what is your dream lifestyle, car, and job? First of all, awesome question. I think I can expand on this one and hopefully I answer it to the extent you were looking for. My dream lifestyle would probably be living in the South. I would be in the Miami area, down in Florida, maybe Texas, South Carolina. I've looked into this actually uh, because I gotta get my big boy job soon. I'm kind of looking at options, potential for moving out of Michigan and uh, into somewhere where I can continue and really develop my adult life. Um, so my lifestyle will kind of be down there. Plus, real estate's really cheap down there. You can get a big house, a uh, big bang for your buck, have a couple fast cars. I think that'll be a fun, fun lifestyle for me. Uh, my dream car would be the Lamborghini Aventador SV. Um, very expensive car, but that is a dream car of mine. That'd be, that'd be it for me. My dream job, I mean, yeah, we're talking dreams, so let's go crazy. Let's say, I would be a full-time YouTuber, I'd be an influencer, I would grow a social media presence, have a podcast, my online presence to monetize that. And hopefully I'd be just raking in millions and millions of dollars, I'd give a bunch away to charities, and I don't know, maybe get a part-time job handing out putters at a putt-putt arena or place, putt-putt course, they're not arena. Ty said, would you rather have farts for burps or sneezes for farts? Oh God, Ty. Thank you for your insightful question. I'd probably rather have sneezes for farts. Moving on. Big Red said, hey, Big Red O'Doyle here. Big fan, are you still the Moab King and will you 1v1 me so I can lose again? Also, I love the daily vlog with a mix of cars. Have a great weekend. Thank you, uh, I appreciate you. Big Red, you're like one of my very first subscribers, so shout out you, first of all. Um, Am I still a Moab King? I do still play Call of Duty. I've just got Modern Warfare, which came out like two, three weeks ago now. But um, yeah, I'm still playing that. I'm grinding that. Uh, 1v1 right now, I have lost a lot of talent, not gonna lie. So I, I may be garbage. I appreciate your feedback. I asked for feedback in the last video. Good, I've been doing kind of more like a daily, like a lifestyle vlog and more like sit down kind of things like this. Like my last video was the Instagram, uh, like changing their likes, review. John says, how has your life been post-beard and pre-beard, and can you explain how the beard has affected your life? Um, pre-beard, I actually had really long hair, so I mean, that was kind of my distinct feature as far as my head. I cut the hair, I grew a beard, and I can say that was like a better overall experience for myself because it's easier to maintain then like long hair, like I can pull off like not showering for like two weeks straight, nobody knows. Nah, I'm just kidding, I don't do that, that'd be, that'd be gross. How it has affected my life, I, I, I'm not quite sure if it has directly affected my quality of living, but it looks different on my face, so I appreciate you taking notice to the uh, difference in my appearance, John. 
All right, taking a couple from Instagram now. Elena said, what is your stance on hot dogs? I enjoy them from, from time to time. I don't have a stance. If there's a controversial issue that's circulating right now, I don't really have an opinion. But thank you for your question anyways. Jessica says, uh, wanna hang out? <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> thank you. No, the answer is no, I don't wanna hang out, sorry. Ashley said, who's your guys' favorite friend? Is that a collective? I think that's a collective question. Say the favorite friend. I don't pick favorites. We don't, what? I said I don't pick favorites. She doesn't pick, well I do. Who's your guys' favorite friend? I feel like this question was asked rhetorically. Uh, Ashley. The answer should be Ashley. <laughs> like, yeah, like you wanted, like you asked this question, you're like, oh, they're gonna say Ashley, because I asked it. But since you asked, I'm gonna be very honest. All my friends are equal in my eyes. I love them equally. There's a lot of fake friends out there. Ashley, you're cool though, thank you. Uh, other question, are you guys getting married? <laughs> when can I be featured in the vlog? Uh, whenever you do something vlog worthy, you're not like with me when I do it. So, I mean, I guess, hey, one of these weekends, maybe if you do something cool, okay? Thank you for all your questions, Ashley. Moving on, let's see. Brayden said, where are you this weekend? I actually went home, not home. I went to the Detroit area. I uh, kind of got away for a weekend. Was tired of Mount Pleasant. Yeah, get out of the college town, crank out a few videos and just like relax for a weekend. So I went to Jessica's house. Back to the YouTube questions. Alex Reynolds says, do you know Barry? Good one. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know Barry actually. Carson says, how many fingers and toes do you really have? I have 10 fingers, but I don't like to talk about my toes on the internet. I have 10 toes as well. Kevin, cool name, said, how much can you drink and are you frat? Uh, I can I can have some beverages, I can have a few. I am of legal age. And am I frat? Uh, technically, yeah. I mean, I, I fit the, the description pretty well. I've been seen in, in Sperry's and short shorts and, and nice clothes and vineyard vines. I'm starting to see it now. All right, so thank you guys. I really appreciate your comments on that video. We are cruising through subscribers right now. 750 was a big milestone. Yeah, leave a like if you liked, leave a dislike if you didn't. Comment if you had any questions. We are full throttle on YouTube right now. We're probably gonna be starting to upload once or twice weekly. Uh, we're really cranking it up. I appreciate you guys' feedback and your support on the videos lately. You've been crushing it. I'm trying to keep content fresh and new for you guys. Yeah, if you guys like what you see, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps out the YouTube algorithm as always. Yeah, I'm kind of getting in the hang of uploading regularly again. So leave a like and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.